Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, what we're going to be going over the different types of penetration tests in 2024. And there's probably many more than I have on my list, but you know, if I miss something, put it in the comments below. And if you guys are new to the channel, please like, subscribe, and share. Let's keep growing the channel and enjoying the content. I hope you guys are. So the number one penetration test that I have on my list is network penetration testing. So what is a network penetration test? This is where we can test the network infrastructure such as servers, we can test routers, firewalls, different switches, layer two, layer three switches, active directory servers, file servers, SQL servers, exchange servers, everything that contains in the network, right? And then the next one on the list, that's the number one. So number one is networking. Number two is web application penetration testing, right? So what are we doing when we're testing a web app? We're testing different kinds of security environments, right? This can be manual and automated testing, right? So we can find different exploits. We can find f flaws in code, misconfigurations, and just insecure software overall, right? So there's many different kinds of web application tests that you can do, but that's just something I have on my list. Okay, so number three here on my list is physical penetration testing. This is a fun one, right? We could take our little flipper, do some clone badge cloning. We can do some lock picking. We can do some invading uh, security cameras. We can try to you know, bypass man traps or try to get into server rooms and into buildings and all that fun stuff. So we're just pretty much testing the weakness of the internal and external security perimeter or their implementations or their security controls, right? So, you know, this includes, like I said, cameras, uh, installed sensors, uh, doors, locks, security personnel, maybe a security guard, the list goes on. But yeah, that's, that's number three. So number four here is wireless penetration testing. So we can go in with a alpha, we can go in with a Wi-Fi pineapple, and we can just test the weaknesses of the WLAN or the wireless local area network. And what we're trying to test here is different vulnerabilities, different, you know, maybe rogue access points on the network, maybe poor uh, encryption, maybe someone's running WEP, which I haven't seen that in a minute, maybe WPA instead of WPA2, maybe WPA2 instead of WPA3, and the list goes on. Maybe, you, you know, we can recommend stuff like using a radius server, authenticating to your Active Directory. So if Patrick leaves the organization, you just whack his access and he has no more access to that wireless. But this is just a different penetration testing. And then the next one we can do is mobile, right? Maybe Android, Apple, or iOS uh, pen testing, right? This is testing for security vulnerabilities in a mobile application, right? And maybe we can see insecure data storage. We can see uh, poor authentication. Um, we can see poor code review or po poor code quality, right? And that's, I put that towards the bottom because I don't really know much about that world. And I left the, be I left the best for last, right? So the, be the best thing for me is social engineering penetration testing, right? So this targets the, weakness, the weakest link, which is the human element, right? The human factor, whatever you want to call us, right? We, the humans, are the dumbest thing that we can penetrate. That's why people use this for social engineering. Or they use social engineering like phishing, uh, spoofing. They can try to get your credentials, have you click on a link, spammers. So this is the weakest link in any security chain, right? Any security posture, the human is the weakest. And this is why I say educating the end user will be the strongest suit for your organization because if your users are well aware of maybe a phishing link or maybe some malware in a link and understand how to maybe sandbox it or just report it to security and we can do the work right but just given that awareness is super important because if they click on something they grant access to a hacker and then the hacker gets into the organization and then it's going to be a nightmare it can be ransomware it can be you know uh pii information exposed and it can be a nightmare. So that's the last one I have it on my on this list. 
And if obviously you guys have any questions or if I missed any that you recommend, you can put it in the comments below. Like I know we can do medical device hacking, we can do car hacking, plane hacking, all these other cool things, but these are the main ones that if you're in cybersecurity and you wanna to transition to penetration testing, these are the things you're gonna probably be testing on a you know, weekly basis or uh, on a regular basis, right? So thank you so much for viewing. Hopefully you find this informative. If you have any questions, let me know and I'll talk to you guys soon.